Truth Can Change Your Life YouTube channel. Source Exopolitics.org Secret Negotiations and Space Battles Over Full Disclosure Written by Dr. Michael Sala on Secret Space Programs In Share Subscribe Secret Negotiations and Space Battles In this second article in a series discussing Corey Good's latest update about his meetings with representatives of extraterrestrial groups, Inner Earth Civilizations and the Secret Space Program Alliance, I focus on what he claims to have been told about ongoing negotiations and battles between Cabal, Syndicate Groups, and the Earth Alliance. The Earth Alliance comprises Burke's nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, Asian secret societies, and white hats within the military-industrial complex of the U.S. and other nations, who desire to have full disclosure of extraterrestrial life and advanced space technologies, and expose crimes committed by cabal, syndicate groups. Good says that after he had completed his discussion with Rotir Iyer about increasing cosmic energy waves, humanity's optimal timeline, and ascension discussed in the previous article, a familiar figure was transported to the same meeting area. He described his initial encounter with Lt. Col. Gonzalez, a suit and amused by this liaison to the secret space program SSP, alliance comprising the Solar Warden space program and defectors from rival space programs. I was about to inquire more about what had just been communicated when I then noticed a blue orb arrive. The orb deposited Gonzalez next to the other three beings mentioned before. He was facing them and obviously communicating with them. The entire group appeared to glide over to within about 10 feet of their eye and eye as we wrapped up our communication. Gonzalez greeted me with a big smile and asked I hope you didn't miss me too much. It was nice to see that he still had the same sense of humor. He had just gotten back from a meeting with the SSP Alliance where the Mayan group was also present. The Mayan group is one of the ancient Earth civilizations that developed a space program, and they have colonies in other solar systems including the Pleiades constellation. Gonzales, according to Good, is now working as the liaison between the secret space program alliance and the Mayans. Mayan SSP Artist depiction of Mayan secret space program personnel Previously Gonzalez worked as the liaison between the Secret Space Program Alliance and the Earth Alliance, where he held a cover identity in Texas. When he was involuntarily outed by Good, who had been abducted by a lower-level Secret Space Program under the control of the USAF Space Command, National Reconnaissance Office, and Defense Intelligence Agency, Gonzalez had to flee for safety into the inner Earth to find sanctuary with one of the civilizations there called the Anchar. In the second part of his report, Good gives a surprising explanation for why Gonzalez had to leave his sanctuary with the Anchor after having spent several weeks with them. On two separate occasions, he noticed two of the priest cast walking down a corridor that ended in a solid cave wall. They walked right through the wall but he was unable to do so himself. It was quite difficult for him to find a way to look into the room they had gone into but eventually he discovered a fissure in the wall that allowed him to see where they went. When he looked in, he saw a number of different types of giants that were conversing with the two priests. Their heights varied considerably. These giants were very upset. They appeared to be prisoners or refugees. The bigger one that was conversing with the priest in the front had his head in his palm. He was making what Gonzales perceived as groaning noises. Shortly after that incident, Gonzales had worn out his welcome and was asked to leave. He didn't have any information on why the giants were there. During their encounter, Gonzales gave good the latest information about negotiations between the Earth Alliance and the Cabal. Gonzales then went into recent details about negotiations between the Earth Alliance and the syndicates that make up what many of us refer to as the Cabal. These negotiations seem to be going nowhere fast. They are now debating the fates of the syndicate members and those that had worked under them, both wittingly and unwittingly. These syndicates insist that either everyone in their groups are given full immunity and pardoned from prosecution, or no one should receive immunity. Good went on to describe the cabal's argument for partial disclosure. They also continue to insist on a controlled, partial disclosure that would gradually unfold over the next 100 years. 
They opposed any type of document dumps, insisting that this would destabilize the entire socio-economic system on the planet. They argued that a full disclosure would lead to chaos and many deaths from rioting and the anger and panic from countries victimized by the cabal. A large number of the Earth Alliance members have similar fears of these scenarios taking place in the event of a full disclosure. Good describes the plan hatched by cabal, syndicates in case mass document dumps were to occur. Gonzalez then went on to state that the syndicates had already prepared for a massive document dump. They have developed a kill switch for the Internet, and can knock out communications and even electricity in certain regions to stop the data from being viewed. They can mitigate any response from those who had viewed the data, such as through their controlled establishment media outlets. They can also manicure and remove videos, articles or social media posts that contradict their agenda. Good revealed that the Panama Papers are part of a cabal-orchestrated plan to thwart mass document dumps by preemptively exposing prominent members of the Earth Alliance. Gonzalez said that the document dump event may start off as a data dump war. The Panama Papers seemed to be the cabal's first strike to let the Alliance know that they also had incriminating evidence that could put many of them on trial as well. According Good, this means that the new strategy adopted by the Earth Alliance is to have a sequence of document dumps that is spread over a period of time. It is now believed that document dumps need to occur in spurts in order to have a higher possibility of actually reaching the population. Good described emerging efforts and threats by the cabal which are being thwarted. These syndicates have been continually pushing for World War III, without gaining any success. They still continue to make threats to cause natural disasters, which includes detonating charges that would cause two supervolcanoes to erupt, causing an extinction-level event on Earth. I highly doubt that this would be allowed to occur, but most of the Earth Alliance does not feel like they can gamble on it. Skirmishes are continuing to occur in our upper atmosphere and various areas around Earth and other celestial bodies in our star system. Both the Earth Alliance and Cabal fear that an advanced spacecraft will crash into an urban populated area due to the many skirmishes that are happening in the upper atmosphere. The fear of an advanced craft crashing in a populated area is very real to both of these groups. Both sides have members of their groups that are ready to pounce if a crash does indeed occur. They have cooked up cover stories involving nuclear-powered satellites crashing and causing contamination in large areas. This could compel people to either flee or stay in their homes until informed otherwise. In these skirmishes, many different military satellites and weapons platforms have been destroyed, causing them to burn up in our atmosphere or to be flung out of our orbit. The above scenario is consistent with what was recently described by three remote viewers associated with the Farsight Institute who predicted an asteroid or explosive type object impacting a large urban area sometime in the month of August. The remote viewers described, with varying degrees of detail, the devastation caused by an object crashing into the unknown city, probably in the USA some believe the remote viewers were describing an asteroid impact on a densely populated area. According to one analyst, who examined the descriptions given by the three remote viewers, the incident likely involves the city of Houston, Texas, which may be targeted by a directed energy weapon in a false flag attack similar to 911. Good's information suggests another possible interpretation. What the three remote viewers may have witnessed was a spacecraft crashing after a battle between the Earth Alliance and Cabal, Syndicate Space Fleets. Such an incident may be easily confused with an asteroid impact, or involve the use of directed energy weapons, as the above interpretations of the three remote viewers' descriptions suggest. While the month of August is almost over, according to Good's information, there is a growing likelihood of such an event happening in the near future. Good described being asked once again by the SSP Alliance to take Gonzales' old position as liaison the Earth Alliance, but he again declined. The SSP Alliance further wanted me to accept the deal that the Wrangler, described in an earlier report by Good as an enforcer-type operative, had tried to shove down my throat. They wanted me to become their asset and followed their orders. I would receive logistical and financial support if I agreed, but would be muzzled from divulging the full details to David or anyone else.
This made me feel as if the olive branch that was being offered bore no fruit. I politely declined. Despite his refusal, Gonzalez told Good that he would still be included in future SSP alliance meetings. Gonzalez did however state that I would be appearing before them in the future to be a liaison between them and the Sphere Being Alliance. One of the consequences of their not being a current liaison between the Earth Alliance and the Secret Space Program Alliance is that actionable intelligence about their respective actions between the Earth Alliance and the Cabal, syndicate groups, is going to be delayed and or compromised. Good has previously explained that the power of the SSP Alliance to influence Earth affairs is presently very limited. The Alliance has been denied access to near-Earth space by a corporate-run space program in charge of air and space traffic control, located on a moon base called Lunar Operations Command. This means that the SSP Alliance can simply go forward with mass document dumps using its own operatives and resources. Such action has to be taken in coordination with the Earth Alliance, which is currently locked in an acrimonious negotiation process with the Cabal, syndicates who still weld considerable power on Earth despite recent setbacks. There is a real and terrible possibility that a major urban area and or U.S. city could be impacted by one of the advanced spacecraft shot down in one of the ongoing space battles between the Earth Alliance and Cabal, syndicate groups. Such a potential event by itself earnestly compels us to refocus our attention wholeheartedly on humanity's optimal timeline occurring. Copyright Michael Lee Silla, Ph.D. Copyright Notice Help the Truth Can Change Your Life channel to raise the vibration and share and subscribe this article with your family and friends.